everyone welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you for always coming out here may god bless you all it's no longer news that the nigerian government is not ready to release mazen namdekan it's no longer news that abubakar malami is being is having this personal bias even president Muhammadu buhari against the Igbos. do you know why if you really cares for your people i am talking about your citizens with what is going on people have pleaded nigerians have pleaded okay just forget about the person in the person in question look look at the face of innocent people being killed in the southeast region why can't you just change have a change of mind Apart from having a change of mind, this is IPOP leader's right to be free because the courts have already said he is a free man. But they said no. They are fighting very hard. Today they have, they have filed another seven count charges against him in the Federal High Court, Abuja. This is the same seven uh, 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 charges that was struck out by Justice Binta Inyako, AGF Abubakar Malami, is now bringing it back again because he's not satisfied. He's looking for how to get Namdi Kano down. And Nigerians are now asking why. Now these people are asking for freedom which is not out of place because going by the nigerian constitution they have not committed any crime going by the uh, international constitution they have not committed any crime he's only the federal government of nigeria is seeing them as criminals for asking for their freedom now first thing they said they are being marginalized they are not being treated as citizens of this country, they are being cut off in the Nigerian government. In fact, Nigerian affairs, Igbos are being cut off. That has been their, their song. Now, with what is going on now, why won't those who are saying, I beg, not mind them, they they okay? Why won't them? Why would they not believe now that Nigerian government is doing what they are doing because this man is from the Southeast region? Wait a minute. This Biafra war went on go since come go. Till now it never come out for their mind. Then what makes you a leader? What makes you a leader? If you like some people and hate some people, you are not a leader. You cannot be a good leader. Every, lead, every leader must be neutral. You love this region. You love this region. But what we are experiencing now, it's not like that. And the way the federal government is going concerning this Mazen and the Canons case, this integration, this breakup, that they are saying, no, don't do it. It's going to come. You are killing them. You are humiliating them. You are intimidating them. You think you are weakening them. You are motivating them the more. You are giving them more strength to stand and ask for their rights. Namdekano's late counsel, Michael Zekome, has asked the Supreme Court of Nigeria to right the wrong. He has asked the Supreme Court of Nigeria to right the wrong of the Court of Appeal, Abuja, by directing the release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdekano. Politics Nigeria report that Zekome. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Zekome warned that Nigeria could disintegrate if Kano is not released from core study 
as soon as possible. This is the same thing the Nigerian government is running away from. And now it's coming very closer to them. And it's a pity that they are not seeing it. The senior advocate of Nigeria, San, gave this warning during a recent meeting with IPOB leaders in Atlanta, the United States of America. We are at the Supreme Court and it will right the wrong because nobody will intimidate the Supreme Court. They will have to do something so that Nigeria will not disintegrate, Ozeko Mer said. I have told the court that releasing Inamdekano will not break the southeast or bring unrest in the zone. Rather, that is what will come southeast. This is because the day the court of Rabiu delivered its judgment ordering its release, there was tribulation everywhere in the southeast, from Abba to Umahia, Onicha to Innewi, Abakeleke, Olu to Owere, and the entire zone, even in Lagos and Abuja, in Port Harcourt, in Delta State, and other parts of Nigeria. So I told the court that if you want to have peaceful election, and peace in the southeast, and by extension, Nigeria, then releasing Namde Kano. This newspaper recorded that last month the Abuja Happy Court stopped the execution of its judgment, which freed Namde Kano of terrorism charges. A three man panel of the Court of Appeal had faulted the federal government forceful forcible repatriation of Kano from Kenya to Nigeria in June 2021 to face terrorism charges over the IPOB leader's separatist campaign. The judge who led the appellate court's panel had on October 13 held that the federal government broke local and international laws by forcibly rearresting and returning Kano to Nigeria. However, in the ruling, Aruna, leading a panel of the courts of appeal in Abuja, ordered that the enforcement of the judgment releasing Kano be put to hold. Kano's legal team has since approached the Supreme Court on the matter, and according to Barrister Ifani Ejefo on Thursday evening, from every indication, it is very likely that a date will soon be assigned at the Supreme Court of Nigeria for the hearing of Onyendo. Kano's appeal against the order staying the execution of his judgment. So guys, kindly drop your view below the comment section. Thank you for always listening.